Hello, my name is Matthew Stones from Axel Technologies and today I'm making a very short video to demonstrate how an Axel Model 80 ThinkLite terminal will connect to Citrix. So as an unconfigured terminal, when it's first powered on, it will run a quick setup wizard. By using either the mouse or the spacebar, you can select the options. English keyboard. The terminal's name by default is Axel, followed by its MAC address, so we can guarantee it will be unique, but you can overwrite that. Remote control is to whether or not you want to enable the remote control VNC server. The, by default, the terminal will interrogate the monitor and use the monitor's preferred resolution. You can select a specific resolution if you wish to override that. Um, we support resolutions up to 1920 by 1200. And we support various bits per pixel color depth. The default is 16. Uh, you can select 24 or 32. I will leave DHCP enabled. You could disable and enter a static IP address. The session type this video is on Citrix, so I'll go straight into the Citrix receiver. And there are still various options. The first one I will demonstrate will be what we call the Citrix receiver desktop. We're now prompted to enter the URL or IP address of the server. If it was a, a secure connection, you would, you would proceed this by HTTPS colon slash slash. But this is not a secure connection, so I don't need to do that. This is a Citrix demo website and I'll post details on the video so you can make your own account and connect to it. No printers connected, no memory sticks connected. A brief resume of what we have and we will save and reboot. Logging in. And we've, we're connected, we've got the icons. Go into Office Apps, click on Word. And there we are, configured and connected. If you pull the cursor down to the bottom of the screen, an Axel taskbar pops up after a couple of seconds. And at the far left, there's a desktop icon, a blue icon. If you click on that, you go back to your desktop where you see your original icons. And if you go back into Office, we can, for example, open up Excel. And Word is still there behind. So you can open up multiple applications at the same time. If you go back into the Axel desktop, we can also open up uh, PowerPoint. So you can open up as many applications as you require. And when they're minimized, they go down to an icon as you'd expect down at the bottom. They can be popped open again. Finally, there is one other way how we can connect to a Citrix environment and this way would tend to be used if you wish to connect to just one single resource, i.e. quite possibly a desktop. So starting back from a factory defaulted terminal, we go into the quick setup menus. We'll choose an English keyboard, I'll keep the same terminal name, remote control as before, DHCP enabled. Citrix receiver, and this time I will pick Zen App and Zen Desktop. Same server URL. No printers, no memory sticks. I will go into advanced setup this time and just make one small change. In 
sessions, session one, authentication, I will enter the domain to save typing in every time. So now when we log in, and here we get a list of applications which are in fact the same applications which we saw earlier through their icons and we could pick off one application for example Word and connect to it. Now this isn't particularly user friendly and if you do have multiple applications probably the previous configuration would be more appropriate but there are situations where this may be more convenient. What we can do in this scenario is go into sessions, session one that we've been configuring and down here where it says execute this resource F2 to list press F2 it asks me to authenticate myself When I press F2 now, I get a list of the applications and I can pick off any application. Now, unfortunately, Citrix don't publish a desktop, which would be the, the most natural application to use in this configuration. So I'll pick uh, Word. Yeah, Word. And save it and quit. And now, when we connect to our session, we're asked to authenticate ourselves. But we connect directly to the application rather than seeing that list. So I hope you found that quick demonstration useful. If you have any questions or would like to borrow a terminal to evaluate in your own environment, please contact Axel. You can find our details via our website which is www.axel.com. Thank you very much.